I started filming for this video last October, so it's been 9 months in production. But it's worth waiting for because now I can show you the results as well as the experiment itself. This is a bed in our garden and the soil here is lovely and rich after years of attention. It is especially good at growing weeds of all sorts. So this experiment is to grow a crop and mulch it with different things to suppress the weeds and then see how the different mulches worked by the end of the growing season. The crop is elephant garlic. I'm putting in 250 cloves. These are ones we've grown ourselves, but previously growing garlic has involved regular weeding. If you've been watching Sandra's monthly gardening updates, you would be forgiven for thinking that she does all the gardening here. Well, it's not quite true. Look, there we are, all 250 garlic cloves planted. Next comes the mulches. This is ordinary builder's sand. I'm hoping it will be successful because it's cheap and once it's dug in at the end of this experiment it will improve the structure of the soil too. This soil is basically clay and humus. A bit of sand should help the drainage. Next comes sawdust straight from my workshop. It's not just cheap, it's completely free. Now, some will say that sawdust will have a negative effect on the soil, at least short term, because of all the nitrogen that the microbes take up while they're breaking it down. Well, we'll see. And lastly, straw, but not straw in the usual form, this is pelleted straw, usually used as bedding for animals. I'm using it for two reasons. The ordinary straw just sort of blows around the place here. It's very windy. And the main reason is that we just couldn't get hold of any small bales of straw when I was trying to plant the garlic. The same question about the short-term benefits applies to straw as well as sawdust, though straw will probably break down quicker. And of course, eventually, both will end up feeding the soil as the microbes themselves get digested. And lastly, I left one area as a control. No mulch of any kind here. Here's the sand. And here's the sawdust. And here. The straw. The planting and the mulching was the biggest job of the project. After that I just left them all to it. This is when they just poked up through the surface. There were a couple of weeds too, but very few. I couldn't see any difference at all in the plants at this stage. And here we are in early spring. I think every single clove made it up. Some of you will be thinking I should have used black plastic, but I hate black plastic, so I won't be using any of that stuff, thanks very much. Or herbicides, obviously. And this is April of this year. Again, the garlic looks pretty happy, doesn't it? There are some weeds, but I'm pleased to see that really there were very few weeds and those that there were came out of the mulch very easily. And this was the only weeding I did in the whole of the nine months. Fast forward now to June and the plants are shading the ground completely now so no weeds can grow. Although some are trying to invade the plot from the edges. And here we are on the 1st of August. What today? In fact, time to harvest. 
How exciting. Look at the size of that one. It's a big bulb. They come up quite well. But one broke off so far. I'm just pulling it gently. And they come out. A few weeds. This is the sand section. Weather's not great, but the forecast is for worse, so we're going to chance it today. Luckily, they just sort of pull out. Not much digging needed. Huge. So what's that? That this looks is... like the sawdust. Yeah, well this one is very small because it's got a... The other end of it, all the way over here, there's a flower head. Yeah. Well, I let some of them flower, but you can see pretty flowers. See why we shouldn't. Really. Yes. Okay. So that was the sawdust one, and some of those are whoppers. I can tell. Tim. Look at the size of these things. But here is the straw one. Want to help me pull up a couple of those and see what they look? Yes. Like? You start at that end, we'll see what we find. You have to be very gentle, but don't put them on that either. Going around the bend. I left them in piles according to the mulch they had. Bit weedy there, Tim. Yes, it's very weedy. I did weed them. I weeded just the same number of times once as I weeded the other lot. It's just that um, the weed grew back again quicker. Now you're filming the donkeys. Yeah. This is a video about garlic, Sandra. Yeah, but it's the background, you know, it's a scenic oh, yeah. shot. Now, perhaps this isn't a very scientific way, but I chose the biggest ten bulbs from each pile and weighed them. All the mulches produced similar good results, though the sawdust was a clear leader. The biggest surprise for me was the control group. These weighed less than half of any of the others. Competing with the weeds is obviously a big factor. The figures are kilos, so the heaviest ones were half a kilo each, or more than a pound weight. All in all, I think this was an interesting experiment and a successful crop too. And guess what we had for dinner this evening? And they were very good.